Hey guys, today we're going to be starting a craft that shows all four seasons. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get a piece of paper um, and you're going to get a pencil or something to write with. The very first step of our craft for the seasons is you are going to split your paper in half two different ways. And the way that I'm going to do that to make sure that my lines are straight is I'm going to fold my paper this way make sure that the ends line up and then I'll press and then I'll open it back up and right on this line that we see that's where I'm going to draw my line so I'm drawing my line making sure that it's nice and straight and I'm taking my time so I have drawn a line right on that line and then I'm gonna fold my paper the other way so I already folded it this way so now I'm gonna fold it the other way this time it's gonna go from top to bottom making sure that all the ends line up before I squeeze it. There it is, I squeeze, open it back up, and right on the line that it's made for you, that is where you're going to draw another line. So I'm gonna carefully trace over that line that I just drew, or that I just made by folding the paper. So now I've drawn two different lines and it has split up my paper into four equal parts. And the great thing about the four parts is that there are four seasons. Can you name the four seasons? Winter, spring, summer, and fall. So in each of these parts in the corner, we're gonna write what season it is. So we'll start with winter. Right here, we're gonna write the word winter. Win -ter. Make sure that you're writing a small so that you have lots and lots of room for your um, picture that we're going to make. Winter is spelled W-I-N-T-E-R. Next, we're gonna do spring. S-P-R-I-N-G. There's the word spring. Next, we're going to do summer. Right here, we'll do summer. And I'm making sure to put summer under spring because it's gonna be kind of like a circle. Just like our seasons are continuing to change all year long, this is gonna be kind of like the circle of how they change. It'll be winter, spring, summer, fall, back to winter, and then spring, summer, and fall. Um, and so, of course, this last one will be fall. So we have our four seasons written down on our paper and we are going to be making a tree in each of these four um, spots on our paper. Since I'm using a small piece of paper I can't um, draw anything too big because we still want to have room for the leaves and everything. But if you have a really big piece of paper you could make a tree by tracing your hand. So this would be like the trunk of the tree and these would be the different branches. So that's a way that you could do it. Obviously my hand is way too big. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to carefully draw, there's the trunk of the tree, and then I'm gonna do a couple of branches. And it kind of does look like a hand. So we're just going to do the outline of a tree in each of the sections. Don't start coloring yet, don't start painting or anything yet. We're just doing the outline. So let me do the tree over here. So right now, each of the seasons should look about the same. We will add our changes to them soon. There's my next tree. And it's okay if they don't really look like trees right now. That is our job, is gonna turn them into trees. So this is just what they're gonna look like right now and we'll just keep adding to it over the next couple of days. So there it is. I have drawn four different trees. There's a tree in each of the seasons, but they don't really look like trees. So now we get to the fun part of decorating our trees. Today we are just gonna be doing the background and then tomorrow we'll get to do the actual leaves and different things on the trees. So. I'm going to be using watercolor paint. 
If you don't have watercolor paint at home, that is totally fine. I know that we are working with what, with what we have right now. So if you don't have watercolor paint, you could use markers, you could use crayons, you could use anything that you have at your house to color in the trunk and the branches of these trees. Don't add any leaves yet. <laughs> so I have watercolor paint and I'm gonna slowly take my time to paint the different trunks of the tree. And remember with watercolor paint, if you're using that, you do wanna use lots and lots of water. That's why it's called watercolor. So here I am coloring in each of my trees with my paint. You could be doing this with crayon or marker and it will look just as good. All right, finishing up tree number one. Moving on to my next tree. And since we are doing science right now, we do want them to be as accurate as possible. We're not gonna draw any purple tree trunks or anything like that. We want them to really, really start to look like trees. So do your best to make sure that you're doing scientific drawings and paintings. No purple trees, please. All right, finishing up my second tree. And I'm trying as best as I can to stay in the lines. All right, moving on to the next tree. Okay, finishing this one up, taking my time, trying not to make a mess on the table. Okay, and I have one last tree that I need to paint. How are yours looking right now? Awesome. And like I said before, if you're using watercolor, make sure you're using lots of water, because if you don't dip your paintbrush in the water a lot, then it's, the paint is not gonna show up. It's not gonna look very good. All right, I finished my last tree. And I don't know about you, but since I used watercolor paint, my paper is very, very wet right now. So I can't really touch it yet. I can't add more detail to it yet. So this is all we're gonna do for this project today. We're just gonna do the tree trunks and the tree branches and split our paper into four parts. Tomorrow is when we'll be adding lots and lots of details to our trees. See you tomorrow.